For the second part of book one, proposition number 26, we still want to consider two triangles that have two equal angles, but now when considering the sides that are equal between the two triangles, we no longer want to consider the side to be between the two angles, but now the side will be subtended by one of the equal angles. So let's look at these two triangles triangle ABC and DEF and this you can notice is essentially trying to prove the angle angle side theorem because we know the angles BAC and EDF are equal ACB and DFE are equal and the base here BC is equal to the base EF so we can start this proof by first making an assumption and then showing that this leads to some logical contradiction. So let's assume that this side AC and the side DF are not equal to each other, which essentially implies that one has to be bigger than the other. So let's just choose AC and say that it's bigger than DF, though if we chose it the opposite way, we can use the exact same argument. Now with this assumption in mind, that AC is bigger than DF, we can take a portion of this line AC and cut it, let's say this point here, G, such that the line CG is equal to the line DF. And we can do this because of book one, proposition number three. And then let's connect B and G. So we just created the line BG due to postulate number one. And then notice with this triangle BGC and EDF that GC and DF are equal. The bases BC and EF are equal. And we know that the angles contained between these two equal sides are equal as well. So because of book one, proposition number four, which is essentially the side angle side theorem, we know that these two triangles are equal. And if the two triangles are equal, then the angles within the triangles are equal as well. So this angle here, BGC, would have to be equal to the angle EDF. So let's write that the angle BGC is equal to the angle EDF. Though due to common notion number one, which says that things which are equal to the same thing are equal to each other. Since BGC and EDF are equal, and EDF is equal to angle BAC, we know that angle BGC would also be equal to angle BAC. But if we take a closer look at this angle BGC, we can notice that it's an exterior angle to the triangle ABG. And due to book one, proposition number 16, we know that exterior angles are always greater than opposite interior angles. So in other words, this angle BGC would have to be bigger than the angle BAC. So this angle here would be bigger than this angle here. But something can't be equal to something and bigger than it at the same time. So this is a contradiction. We know that both of these can't be true. And that leads us back to our assumption, which we can now conclude is wrong. Or in other words, one of these sides, AC and DF, is not bigger than the other, which means that they're equal to each other. So AC and DF are equal. So we know that this side here is equal to this side here. So notice that in this triangle ABC and this triangle DEF, we have the sides AC and DF equal, the bases BC and EF equal, and the angle between those equal sides are equal as well. So we can use book one, proposition number four, the side angle side theorem, to show that these two triangles are exactly equal. So triangle ABC would be equal to triangle DEF. And that is exactly what we sought to prove. So let's end with QED.